Okay, where were we? I, I was sitting on this. I was gonna do. Here's system. Are we on? Yes. System of down. Aerial. Bosch is chop suey. Nope, it's aerial. I seen chop suey and it's aerial. Listen to it. Okay, um, the one girl there at the bagel shop had beautiful black hair. And, uh, if I wasn't in a meeting, I probably would have, uh, definitely interviewed her, for sure, because I was getting coffee, she kept on looking at me and smiling, and, uh, that was a cue that I could go up and say something good. You know, I could probably go up and say, hey, your hair is so beautiful, you know. You got a 50-50 chance there, you know. And, you know, whatever response is, you know, she says, thank you, I could say, well, everything else is fine, too. And you made it to the next round. If she goes, oh, well, thank you. You know, you just take it one step at a time there. Here is uh, Ariel, System of Down. Yeah. All right, um, yes, we have to get more of the, of the females here on, on the show. I know that. But I, I have to work it. I have to work it a little bit, you know, because it's hard because, you know, I'm not a big organization, you know. I'm not Entertainment Tonight, I'm not all these things, Fox, or MSNBC, for lack of better words, or whatever. Entertainment Tonight. Uh, so I'm doing it all on my own. I'm not The View, I'm not The Tonight Show, you know. And I was talking to Lynn on the way down, and I was telling her, you know, about my experience here at the West One Radio, and what it has done to me in the community. But after we talked, I'm like, well, it's, it's really not them, per se, it's just the way things are, you know, because, you know, you got a, a hometown guy here, you know, with a degree and all this knowledge and everything, and nobody wants to have him, have him run the city or run run things, because, believe me, there'd be a lot of changes, you know, I'd get every official in, in, in there, and that's it, first I'd fire them all, and then I'd have them reapply, you know, i have them go through everything, and I would hire people that could do the job, you know, based on their education and performance, that way I would get things done instead of having all this stuff that's just not being done right. I mean, it, it, and if we set a good example, then other cities will follow. See how see how, how things work? If you're doing them right, then, you know, people are going to get jealous. They're going to say, well, how come they're doing it right over there? Just That's why people move. All right, where is uh, this one, one thing that I found? And we got plenty of time here. It's 333. Traffic is always good, and weather is even better. Okay, where is it, babe? Uh, did I... He got it. And there is a cool thing, um, Thriller Noir Film Raja, you know, Raja, Raja. I, I missed it. When I clicked on this, I lost it. Sweet Dreams, I think the movie was. Okay. Suppose Pioneer A has one horse. He also wants another horse, but does not have the money or other means to buy one. Pioneer B has three horses, and Pioneer A decides that he would like to share in his neighbor's good fortune. Is he entitled to take one of his neighbor's horses? Obviously not. If his neighbor wishes to give it or to lend it, that is another question. But so long as Pioneer B wishes to keep his property, A has no just claim to it. If A has no proper power to take B's property, he obviously cannot delegate any such power to the sheriff. Even if everyone in the community desires that B give his extra horse to A, they have no right individually or collectively to force him to do so. No government can justly claim the power to seize and redistribute the people's wealth and property, or to force reluctant citizens to perform acts of charity against their will. Welfare programs, schemes for distribution of the wealth, and other programs which coerce people into acting in accordance with a prescribed code of social planning, are government activities which today pose a grave danger to the individual American's continued freedom. Once government seizes the aggressive role of redistributing the wealth, 